Good morning, you motherfuckers. Hot down. Good morning, you motherfuckers. We live and direct. This is the Dana Keith podcast. It might be called the official Dana Keith podcast. Keep it real, you I just changed my IG name. Uh, and uh oh yeah uh your handle on ig is yeah i just changed it i didn't I, even change just today i just did it today and you want to know why i did it today tell me why i'm gonna open it up and tell you because i was online and i saw gary v talking about tiktok have you checked out tiktok yet um the application yeah the app tiktok yeah, see yeah, I, I've, I, seen, I've seen people use it yeah. right so i was aware of like a reference point like exactly like okay i understand like you the did. idea oh, official Dana Keith ass yeah, on Instagram. So we might Make have, sure you follow. Hey, <laughs> official Dana Keith. I, you know what? And this is the story behind that. Before I give you a proper introduction, uh, the story is basically I went to go pro- load a profile for for TikTok, and okay. lo and behold, somebody has the name Dana Keith, uh. and they don't have anything posted. No followers. Ain't following nobody. So. Like a real one, I, I reached out to them like, yo, can I get your name? Um, but truth be told, they don't even let you message somebody if you're not following them and they're not following you. So I, I wanted to make my I, my social medias like streamlined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it, <clears throat> it's easy to find you on find all platforms. Find you, yeah. yeah. So that, that's the behind the story. At any rate, welcome to the podcast. We sure. live and direct. If you listen to this through audio, thank you so much. I appreciate you for tuning in. If you're checking out the video through maybe YouTube or even TikTok, heck, Facebook, man, make sure you follow everybody. Uh, myself, official Dana Keith, as well as Dana Keith. But let me give a proper introduction to our guest today. Today we have a, a Man, he's growing to be one of my better friends. I just got BTS from this guy, which is incredible. Like, I'm so excited to see that. I can't wait and, for you to check it out. And just with that being said, like, uh, this is this is somebody who's coming up in the game, that's working, putting in time, putting in the work, and doing a lot by himself. So if anybody knows my story, I have a lot of respect for this man and, and couldn't thank him enough for any attribution that he has and will give wow. to myself. But I think it's I think it's so beautiful of what you're doing. So allow me to introduce my guest. My guest is Joe E. Sparks, y'all. Yo, can I get an applause? Yo, heck yeah, it. man. I could give you an applause. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I just feel like I should be walking in the stadium right now. So. Yo, man, it's it's a pleasure to have you up here, man. So um you yourself, you're a videographer, cinematographer, filmmaker. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just give it over to you, man. Introduce yourself to the people. I'm uh, glad to have okay. you here. Awesome. Uh, Dana, you my boy. I'm glad to be here for you. Um, yeah, it's Joey Sparks. That's two E's, no Y. Um, and, yeah, I, I consider myself in a creative. Um, and right now my form, my favorite form of expression is, yeah, filmmaking. All aspects, front to back, trying to figure it out, trying to get with you and learn more audio. That's 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 one of my main goals is to that's, take that's advantage awesome, man. of you I appreciate and some audio. That. So yeah. getting up here to do something <clears throat> where we're practicing audio seems. Yeah, seems how's about it sound right. to you? What do you Sounds think? Sounds good, bro. Sounds mm, real, real so good. So Chris, I love yeah, this yeah, machine, I man. I, I can see when Just you cop it. Co- I, I copped it like probably three, four weeks ago. Ooh. I probably have like five to ten demo runs on it, and this is like honestly, this is my first time filming it at the same time. With two cameras. Okay. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I filmed it already. <laughs> yeah, I filmed plenty, yeah, but with, with, with two, two cameras. cameras so we can have the perspective of the Another angles, person. man. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I'm i a big fan of podcasts. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, agruently. I'm also a big fan of talking, so uh, <laughs> the, yeah, they, they go. It hand makes in a hand. combo. I feel like I, I actually, as I listen to myself and we film this, and I get into that creative space, creative space of doing. Right, like I feel so much better doing. Yeah, shit. so much better. I, I yeah. learn better doing. Um, so tell me, tell us a little about yourself, man, because okay, I, yeah. I find I found out and I met Sparks through. Um, it was an open mic kind of a freestyle. I don't even know. I think you uh, could have more clarity. Of what it, uh, it was cipher. a mic pass. Yeah, it's, it's a like cipher. a cipher. It's more of a cipher. local cipher. Incredible. Uh, yeah, and somebody. Uh, but even then, he was filming, it. and I want you. To, I want to know as far as for like, you know, how did you get into the space? What do you love about it? And tell me a little bit about your journey, if that's not too loaded. Uh, similarly to you, <clears throat> someone close to me or myself was in, you know, into the music game, the hip hop game. And my younger brother was a rapper and that made me go, well, I shouldn't be rapping since he's that good. So let me get 
behind the camera and maybe be his ditty to his biggie. Amen. As I date myself. Um, and that's fine. <laughs> and, and so that's where I started taking like little digital cameras that were used for photos and they had like three minutes of taping. And so I would use that in little clips and got some free software and, that's what got me started in it. And then, you know, kids and wife and then a chance to go back to school and intern and really get things done. And then before you know it, um, I decided to step out and I stepped out here in Colorado Springs. And one of my big openings was that Colorado Mike's Mike pass that you were speaking of. And oh, yeah. The cypher. So so that actually that, that's, that that's like what got you a big, a big launching, stamp. Yeah. Big launching. That's awesome. And that's crazy time. because I was I was a part of that and I had no clue like, had no what clue it meant either. to you. I saw you. I was like, this man has East Coast qualities. <laughs> I was like, and he's got his own um, production house embroidered on his camera strap. Man, I was like, I'm not out. there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I don't that have my embroidery gift. game that down. A, that was fire, that was bro. Gift, it's still bro. fire. The Some of the footage I yeah. shot of you has it. Um, yo, yo, I have. I actually have all that footage still to this day. Oh, all the were you ta- you were taking video too? I bro, thought, come on, man. I was uh, doing yeah, a little bit of everything. Your camera's always on. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was. I was, I was out there. So like, let, let's let's just kind of flash back here. So that was your first like uh like push through in the community. Correct. Like, let's say for in the hip hop world, like what what do you love about it and what have you learned most doing what you've done? What I love about it is this music. uh, Hip hop is the culture that I live. When I was growing up, there wasn't nothing special to cling to. And then this brand new form of music came on and it was hip hop. And to be part of it was to be cool. And lo and behold, it has done nothing besides rule the world since there. And it basically is who I am. And so I feel the most life when I'm participating in some, some capacity of that. Yeah. And so I was like, how can I practice getting better at shooting, um, video and enjoy myself at the same time. And that's when I was like, let me do music videos. Music videos are quick, fast. I don't have to worry about, um, taking dialogue audio which i'm not the best at and so yeah. then i can just let the audio of the music drive right, the right images and then, and then just follow through there and i gave myself what two years it's been three now i think it's been three years here in the spring shooting films i think about I that's dope man three was it about three years ago? I, I i would have I to say probably three within Close three getting, about yeah. three years two now half, three it's funny because as the as those pictures always come back around i always think about that time marker in in my career you know what i mean uh, and and it's funny because as you see another person in your craft you judge them so fast like, oh man man <laughs> the don't, don't you don't, i did i did but just so just so i can laugh or at least we can get it on film like what did you think about me when you saw me out there because i i was just filming out of you know, he had the job. I didn't have the job to do this. Right, you were here. Uh, I was there with my man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, CZ, uh, your man, uh, CZ, was one of the artists on the compilation, and you were there to take BTS for him. Right. And so when I showed up, I saw it, and at first, this is my first time being out in the community. I was like, should I ask him, like, to not take shit over my shoulder or shit like that? Should I, <laughs> should, like, is this all my chance for my yeah. aging? And I was like, ah, it's, you're just, you're just mingling in so let's not worry about it i'll just tell him to stay out of your way and you were like i'm taking photos and i was like okay and then i saw the camera strap i was like yeah he's probably photo ready but um i was doing both at the time yeah i had no idea yeah. i thought i thought you were just strictly photo and, that, and then when you had photos come out i made sure anytime i used one of your photos i was like i gotta have his um watermark or his uh oh, his name love, tag I on it. i was that. like that's what you got to do in the community, right? That's what yeah, <laughs> and that's so funny. Like to to give you an idea, of full circle. Like today, we just dropped the BTS footage of the over the shoulder type stuff, right? And it's so advantageous for a creator to have that type of stuff as far as for content of themselves. Yeah, I think, and once you can let it go and let someone look over your shoulder, like I think you are able to learn more. You're able to learn not it, not even more about what you do, but more about yourself and stuff because you start to think about what people can critique over your shoulder and stuff like that. And then when you realize that we all have, we all have category, 
the sliders. It's like yeah. my 2K <laughs> player. That's we all awesome. have badges that are on Hall of Fame, and some of us have bronze ba- badges. Yeah. And that's why I was attracted to you because I was like, he has Hall of Fame badges. That oh, I man. Think I that's have, too kind. That's why I need that's to get real. with him so yeah. I can boost my bronze up, maybe get a silver. <laughs> a silver badge <laughs> he, he's playing with anyway. y'all, just so y'all know. This man is nice. Like, <laughs> don't let him kid y'all. All right, man. So. You know, just as as you say that, it gives me chills because last night I had a conversation that I feel like us as people, and this isn't just us creators, this is us as people, everybody, we should be judged by our stats. And, like, our stats should be, you know, a wide margin, but it's kind of like an NBA game or NFL game, Mm -hmm. like your ratings. Like, you know, um, I'll give you some examples that I spoke on last night was – you know, what is your self-discipline? On 0 to 100, what's your rank on self-discipline? I'm not asking you directly, but it's yeah. something to reflect right. on. And then you have, like, you know, integrity and, you know, work ethic and, you know, all those intangible characteristics that, you know, define a person. Right. And then when you translate that over to work, um, I feel like all those things are true. And yeah, I've, I've honestly, if I could reflect, man, I have so many stories to tell you about the shit that, to don't do. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Uh, More of those stories than the, the other shit. Actually. Right, right. And that's the funny part. But let's take it back here, man. Um, like I said, you did the cypher. Yeah. Um, you know, you what you love about it is more of the hip hop, man. I love I that do. too, because that's why I won't ever stop doing music videos. Yeah, it's uh, to me, that's it's an easy way to learn. Right. Because, you know, the star of an artist needs needs a shot. They need to be able Amen. to put there. And I, like you said earlier, I learned better doing. Right. So it was like, how much is my time worth doing? You know, like and so I figured I put a small price that allows them to get production value added to their music career. Right. And right. I get to learn off that. And then I don't Amen. have to worry about them going, hey, man. This Some looks, funny shit. Yeah, you know, like the. It's like, bitch, you, you know over, how much you paid? <laughs> yeah, you overexposed in this shot, Joey. Oh I don't gosh. think you need to do that. I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm learning. It's way right. better than yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now I'm to the point, and it was like meeting meeting up with you time and time again, hearing like, no, nah, man, you, you're talented. I was like, am I really? I don't Hell yeah. feel that way. But I'm damn still, it, that I'm makes, still learning from this man. So That shit makes just me Just talk fine. about that. I, I, I think it's, I, w- I want to go to a, a funny idea, but first I, I want to talk about that learning experience for you like uh, how's that journey been learning film humbling yeah tell me about that i mean it's, i think any uh any of us behind that camera lens whether we're taking photos or video we all run into that moment where you have to if you're really trying to be good at this you have to humble yourself at some point in time and go wow <laughs> there's, there's people who have learned how to do this just because the the price of entry has lowered so much it widens the playing field and everyone can get in there and right. it's really easy to see the people who are trying to learn and progress and get better each and every time and then yeah. some people who just go yeah this is just what you do and this, right this right right, right. we can I'll, do it we're just yeah, like yeah, you yeah, just like you i got this button here yeah. that looks like a video Makes camera on my phone and all i do is got to press it and then there's an app to edit it on my phone and then I can you know what see th- there's there's <laughs> two perspectives and and understand where we're coming from guys because I encourage people to film from their phone i i, I do uh you know phone fridays for some film sometimes but the idea of what we're talking about is is these type of people who who flaunt and and it's it's uh-huh. it's, it's almost Brag. like like a braggadelic like, yeah, like bragging about your video skills when you n- it's like being hood it's like claiming hood but you're not hood mm-hmm. you know you're just just repping something that that you know really ain't true yeah yeah it's and a lot of people don't thing. know like if you go around and people are just scared of you like they think you're hood you know what I'm saying I but get, man that's just a Random thing, just because I saw some exactly. shit with fucking um, Tax Stone and Casanova, and Cas- Casanova is oh wow, Cass is he's such a changed man, and I just love that story. I haven't followed uh, Casanova in a, a, a long time. The uh, is it smoking? Nah, just a little fucking bug flying around. Oh, okay, That's for everybody shit, nah, checking out on video. My bad. <laughs> All right, man, cut, let me jump to something yeah, real ahead. quick, go man. Ahead, go, I'm gonna give in. you a quick little funny joke. You ready? All right, here we go. I want to know, because when I edit film, I know if I love it or if I hate it, if they're trash. Like, and, and we're music lovers, so you have an opinion. Right. So I want to know, on the cypher, who was the best? 
in the cipher. Oh, you wow. know Hold the on, cipher. Huh? You have like bro, I thirteen haven't listened people. To it in a long but you time. remember. Hold on, let me think. I know think. you remember. Let me think. Let me think. All right, I just want him um, to say CZ, but I was just checking. It out. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, not rank it and not put CZ in there. CZ's got the best hands in the game. Hey, bro. The best rapper hands in the game. But he's also lyrically talented. And if if I'm being honest, there's, you know, different tiers of people in that, that collective of 13. And yeah. CZ would be in my top most tier. My top most tier would be one or two, or I would say three, possibly four. Tell I me would, some names because I think I, I, I have, have no one problem. personal. I, no I have problem. one personal no favorite. Problem. My but hands down, my favorite. And it's no, it's no secret. It was Bleezus. Hey, Bleez is my favorite. Like, too, I'm sorry. Bro. Like, hey. throw a round of applause to my man. Hey, Bleez. Can you give a shout hey, out? A gunshot, out, out, out of horn, God, a fucking <laughs> somebody give hey, me a slip hey, right now. You know, shout like, out Bleezus, man. I just like, I have reached out to him personally. I like his flow. I like the way it sounds. Yeah, always. He's lyrically acrobatic Incline. on all tracks yeah um, and then he also knows how to not overpower you with those lyrics he he knows how to ride the wave within a song sometimes yeah 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 we're yeah. still show, we're, we're still showing homage skill to an era uh, that i grew that, up in that's that, important that, so i think it, it touches you know the generation now and the generation then i think he's nice there um i think sarah high key whether it, it's unfair because she sings or right. not I still can't hate. She still killed it. The the response. Yeah, she, when, when she people would hit me it, up, bro. I would get videos with brothers all the time, and they'd be like, "Hey man, hook me up with that white girl you had yeah, on the color. Hell, I want to yeah. do a song with her." Like a billion people asked me that. I was like, "I'm not." And they're to so get funny. <laughs> I love high key and I love styles, but they funny with it. Uh, yeah, because hey, they've been in the game for a long time, man. And to be honest, man, they. Styles himself, he's been in there for a long time, but High Key just steals the show. Oh man, it's God, she they, steals the show. Her views go because she's talented. Yeah, she's really talented, talented. Very, very much so. And I think, um, I t- shit, you think it, you tell me if any of these rappers could sing like High Key in a man's perspective, <laughs> in a man's register, <laughs> that they it. wouldn't be doing the yeah, same shit would, she is. Would. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's, that's cool, man. That's yeah, a, that's I don't mind giving Col- my opinions hey, out there. Hey, that's a Colorado like moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just so everybody who knows. Um, man, we're talking about the Colorado Cypher. If you look it up on YouTube, tell them how they can find it. Uh, you can go to my YouTube. It's Joe E. Sparks. That's two E's, no Y. Uh-huh. Um, two E's, no Y. All no right. Y Joe or... E. Sparks, yeah, y'all. That's right. Hey, when I was lit on the wine dinner, I'm going to play this back for, for the replay. Yeah. I said, Joey. I said, I said Joey, but I said Joey so long that it's so funny that I fucked it up anyways. Uh, nah. Joe E. Sparks, nigga, that's Joe we sparks two e's no why two e's no why joe we uh, I, hey i'm a i'm gonna play the people the clip when i play. <laughs> <laughs> oh like right now like <laughs> and then come back uh nah man uh it's you know it's, it's a little tag uh, shit uh, so i just made sure that everybody knows joe no, e uh, go to my youtube there or you could just put in colorado mike pass colorado mike pass hey colorado, colorado mike, mike, mike pass, pass. you're gonna CMB. find this shit it's actually like really legit and my man CZ started off, so yeah, let y'all he know start, he, he is fire. in the beginning. And my man Dana Keith makes hey, a, a hey, cameo. Hey, you know I made a bitch. cameo up in a bitch. Hey, I was hype. Knew, hey, when you get a hype man with the lyrics, it always makes film. Look hey, that much bro, better. actually know your man's lyrics, and it makes better film. Oh my god! I, I Matter of fact, let's talk about it. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about yeah, it. Go. Artists let's that go. don't know their own lyrics. To the fucking song. Talk to me about it, because I know you've seen you it. You know I'm not putting nobody on Ain't blast. Ain't nobody on blast on this one, but, but the general, general topic, let's talk about the artistry talk, of this talk and you. how important it is. It, uh, there's a, there's two parts to this. One, you got to know your lyrics. Of course, us as uh, music video directors, when we're in that, when we're wearing that hat, we know we're going to have B-roll that we can cover, you know, right. this, but we can't cover them all. Oh, we right. can't cover them all. Right. And we don't want to cover too many. Right. And we don't want to cover in a syncopated motion. Because so like it if you're, ruins like your like fucking it, it, it shot. Just, it slows down the vibe, the creative juices in the editing bay. Yeah. You, just, you just feel handcuffed because you can't go nowhere. In comparison to when someone does know when their they music know it very all well. The time, they hit it, everyone. Tell you, them the difference of film. Oh, okay. From one to the other, like you can just tell because there's like a second before they flop their word, and there's a second after that they have to recover from, and so it's like, where's the fucking laugh button? God <laughs> damn! 
This shit is fucking funny, man. Hey, just so y'all know, this is the motherfucking Good Dana morning, Keys you podcast. Well, we don't give a fuck. Good morning, you motherfuckers, morning. man. We talking about artists who don't even know their lyrics when they fucking record. So let me tell y'all a story. This is an honest moment. This is funny as hell. You ready? Right. So when I fucking did my first music video, I was, I'm talking about, like, before, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Before I did, mu- like, shot videos, I was in a video. And that's how, I, like, I learned it because I saw it done. Right. So I was in a video, and I just remember that morning when we were going to go shoot a video. I'm not, this is not really the norm for me. Uh-huh. And in terms of right. like, you know, hey, my man, come on, man. <laughs> hey, just so y'all know, man, my, my pit bull over here just fucking shit up. But, hey, go lay down. Soldier, go lay down. All right, man. Go Soldier going to get a spotlight because he's actually very well loved on the internet. Everybody loves Soldier. So, yeah, so check this out. I remember before we had to go shoot the video. Go lay down, Soldier. I remember a specific time when I went outside and was like, oh, shit, I got I to gotta know my lyrics. And I had to learn, I had to like practice recording that morning. So it's so funny to me when I get on set and there's people there that don't know their lyrics and they're Uh, really like, they've been in the game for a while. Like, yo, you're not new to this. Like, you know this. Like, yeah, I, I, I've similarly, it just, they, they, like you said, they have no idea how much it adds to the overall production, the final product, the ability to edit. Here's my second part. Okay. And this is what this is this is gonna circle back and give kudos to Steezy, especially starting off. Yeah, uh, Steezy. Steezy, sorry. Steezy, uh, yeah. Steezy, no disrespect. Um, starting off the beginning of the Colorado Mike Pass. Oh my god. When I said he had the best rapper hands in the game, he I, was w- I wish he, at I wish him, I wish he would I wish he could hold a class for other people. When I tell him I always try and prepare and I tell them bring chapstick, bring water, bring a jacket, and then I tell them practice your hand mind moves. In in correlation to in your words. In correlation to your words, so they can they can be the same all the time. Like if you're talking about money, you should have the money yeah, sign, yeah. or you should something indicating right, what you're speaking about. Or if you're about. talking about a gun, yeah, I want to see, yeah, see. I want to see your hand okay, go up to yeah. a gun, and, and it makes and, film and better. Let me tell you why. Uh-huh. At least for me, and when it comes to a music video and the editing bay, if in your chorus, you always talking about, and I come back, let's say the end of the chorus, and, and I hit him with my nine, I hit him with my nine. I can switch frame to frame. And it'd be the same motion. shit. I don't and have. And it'd, it'd be so smooth. You just uh, love when that it, shit it, happens. Just be a oh, yeah, I just beat out. Of where funny. in one frame, he starts to bring up his gun, and before he points it at the camera, you switch to the next, and it, it just it creates a transition, a natural one. You don't have to use no special effects or anything like that, and it just. It's so smooth. That's what CZ's has. He has that. Yeah, above hey, he, when he let off the cypher, I'm going to just go and tell y'all man he he intimidated them motherfuckers i'm gonna go ahead and tell you from my perspective that's my man shout out cz i definitely got to do some yeah. more music for music videos for him oh, because yeah, that's my dumb ass just not editing shit and we gotta work some things out on, on our yeah, side too I'll, I'll get down with him right now hey so, mom hey my man is ready if he got a video let's get him I, oh I man my yo, word is yo shout I'll out on shout out cz it's on camera shout yeah, out cz because we gonna have to do that for together because I'm gonna have to do it too. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, gonna have yeah. to be a part of that. Oh yeah, my nigga, C- my nigga CZ is I don't like, mind being I'm trying to tell you, no, no, nah, nah, I, want, <laughs> I, want, I want it to be a real collaborative Let's effort, go. and uh, that's actually something that you know we can kind of evolve into next. Like you know, as far as for collaborating, like right. what's your what's your experience with it, and what are, what are like some goals of yours that you want to do? Because uh, I have some of mine that I. I want to share as far as experience, just just the stuff that I went to school for or like um, did oh. internships and stuff like that. Yeah, but, um, this you this this is. Oh, this, this is awesome. Yeah, I appreciate this it. is my yeah. first reach out with another creative locally at this level of profession. Yeah, that I actually want to try. You right. know what I mean? And so uh, up until now that that's been my experience. And so that's why I'm jumping on this fact only because I see an A alike. I see someone who speaks like me, who walks like me and who's passionate as me and like got the mental capacity to make it happen. Yeah. 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 And, uh, like that book you put me on the, uh, which one I got a couple oh, books shit. I could put y'all on. You know, I just uh, bought like six of them. Which one is this old white man? The, the life success. Uh, anyway. Uh, so I, I, I'll go ahead and just drop, drop two, two of the books that's changed my I'll life. Tell you one of them, but one of them says to be able to create a team 
Uh, and take advantage. Talk about it. Uh, uh, of like man, individual. Seven, seven successful seven habits of success, successful people. Yes, correct. And so that one was definitely talking about to be a leader of men. And I always knew that hell shit, and picking up girls, girls wanted a leader of men, but I just, my dad always championed, Hey man, can you lead other men? Can right. You, can you do that? And in order to do that, you got to be able to sit down and make a team and work within them. And yeah. Grab yeah. And yeah. I love that. And so yeah. that's why I was like, He's right. I'm going to take full advantage of linking up with Dana right yeah, now. Yeah, I appreciate We're that. Yeah. To the spot. Yo, just so y'all know, this is this is, this is is growing, man. Spark's going to be around. I'm, I'm definitely going to help him out. And uh, we're going to see where we can take this bitch. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just throw this out there because I saw this online. I follow this gentleman. His name is Dion Taylor. And okay. he's a African-American filmmaker. And I'm just inspired by his story. So... Basically, what he did is he he wrote a message out to a director that he he looked up to, mm-hmm. and just asked to you know mentor under him on film set. Wow, and that's how you got to do it. I'm actually about to like reach out to Dion and like see like yo if I can be a part of a professional like crew right. and me be a piece of the crew and not be the full crew, right. then I believe to coming back I'll be able to run my business so in a better. whole nother. You know, and that's uh, what people don't understand. And I want to say is w- one of the things I preach about you is you appreciate uh, learning from experience. Oh, my God. Yeah. So you're like, in order to run my gig the best I can run it, I want to take advantage of an opportunity to be part of somebody else's. Yeah. Play the part yeah. I need to play in someone else's yeah. instead of. Yeah. Instead of, I just want to be the leader. I just want to be, I think we all come out like that. And, you know, our parents tell us you can do everything, you yep. can do, which is still true. Very right. true. You right. can still do that. But right. I think. And a great message. Getting that experience is so, that's what I wear the most as a badge. Amen. You go look through my music video history and watch the progression. That's what I meant. The progression, mm. that's what I wear as my proudest badge. It's like, yeah, yeah. Now I'm at this level. Okay, I love that. That's <laughs> that's that's something that I appreciate because I hope that, other people can appreciate it too, and I hope they take pride in it. They hell should. yeah, they should. yeah. There's something that uh, in this recent speech that I was I was watching, they were talking about like self esteem is like the number one characteristic of successful people. Like, if you don't think you like Chance, just say he's the top five rapper. Like, like with all respect to Chance, like he should feel like that, right? But yeah. whether he, it's subjective, right? Sure, like always. judging is subjective. It's an artistry, but it's like I, I want to feel that way. Hell yeah! And the only way I can do that is if I can honestly look at my stuff compared to someone else's and go. Hey, yo, working. give yo when you can give other people a round of applause and 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 actually mean it, <laughs> right? In like a learn, and that's where I think like like my mentorship, like with the people that I I'm, I'm able to to mentor under, it's it's so beautiful because it's a a reach up, reach down mentality. Mm-hmm. Like you got to reach up to find a mentor yourself, yeah, and then you have to reach down to mentor somebody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I think I help think, somebody. Um, like the circle, like you got to do that, and there's there's benefits from both angles right right but i to me i think that's where the success comes from Amen. whether whether you're the mentor or the one being mentored right that's how it is and once again going back to humble mm. you got to humble yourself sometimes and go i can learn from somebody right 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 learn from somebody here right man. i'm always ready to learn that's oh, that's so I know critical. It is. and try and get out and do yeah, that's another yeah, thing yeah. too always ready to get out and do it. when i turned around and you came to do bts for me the other day um I, I, I knew you, we had text message and I knew you were trying to make it because you know how swift you spoke to me in the day, but it was 10 times better of a feeling. Like as I'm like turning around from like lo- setting something up and there's my <laughs> man and I give a handshake yeah, and he yeah, can appreciate yeah. what I'm doing. And man, and I was, I, was like, I admire. So we could talk about that. So let's talk about that night. Cause I, you know, in my, my point of view, I've got a lot of things I could say about that night. Um, you did a music video. It was for a group in front of their house. It was called like Porch Blunt and it was a lit environment. They had like, and I'm going to just throw a number, they probably had like 30, 40 people out there to support. And it was, it was super dope. Like to see from my point of view, when I pulled up, like my man was setting up the lighting of the video and which is solo. Dolo, <laughs> Dolo, my G, Dolo. Yeah, make sure uh, we throw that out there because yeah, I was out that's, there that's just so real. Setting it up, and that's what you got to do. And people get, you know, people always ask, "Can I help you?" And you're like, "Nah, you really, you can't. I can't really help." Oh, I actually got something for you, bro. I have um, I have your lights. They had little 
things oh, on them. Oh, little twisties. Yeah, yeah, I got them. Yeah, 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 I appreciate I, it. It was in my pocket. I have them right so, here. So I appreciate <laughs> right you. See, that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> but I yeah, I had home, just yeah. finished, and I was setting up the last two um, uh, soft boxes that were going to be the the key lights, yep. the main key, and I yep. was going to wash them out, so it gave it more of that that produced vibe mm-hmm. instead of like I didn't want to go artsy with shadows. I wanted like heavy backlighting, Hell yeah. and then yeah. I wanted real soft light on both sides then no 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 nose shadows whatsoever that's i didn't want no no shadows in that yeah, so had lighting on both sides um, uh and then that's right when i turned around and but the backlights was the pr- impressive shit like um, he lit up the uh it's basically on the porch whatever the shit is the railing on the railing was the tube lighting yeah lit like and when you turn that bitch on, I pray <laughs> I got footage of when you turned it on. I don't know if I was watching in real life or filming, but like when you turn that bitch on, we it was like, oh shit, we on set. set. We on, on set, set, set. You on set, set. set. <laughs> we on set, set. My man had a gaff taped up trying oh. to tell these mugs, like, yo, watch the lights, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, 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 watch yo, lights. Yo, watch it, the lights, bro. That's one thing that just separates, it, it stylizes your set. Like, you got to put lights. Amen. In, like, if you're filming in a house, you, I shoot rap videos. You know how many want to shoot in a kitchen? Yeah. I don't want to yeah, shoot yeah, just yeah. a regular ass I don't want to shoot in a regular ass kitchen. Right. Like, I want to shoot, I, I got to change that kitchen. I got to make it look like a stage kitchen. Otherwise, Somehow. It's, otherwise, it's like your uncle grabbed his camcorder and shot your music yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. And that's not how I'm trying to and be. This is, and this is actually a talk with, um, I think it's right here that you could tighten right there. Yeah, yeah. It's at an angle. I, I do think, I, I do think, like, from... <laughs> This is two perspectives I'm going to give y'all. Right. Like, from my experience, man, that kitchen scene is just overused, but <sighs> the views are crazy on some of these videos. It's like, yo, how did this shit get that many views? So then you think about, okay, well, then it's the hustle behind the music, which mm-hmm. is a whole other topic but we could talk if about. they hustled good, a good kitchen set. Right, 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 Go right. Ahead, though. <laughs> and that's where I was just about to flip it to, like, your set your set was not was your regular front porch. Not your regular front porch, no, normal, uh, regular degler <laughs> is what we call that shit. No regular degler <laughs> no, no, ass no, scene. No, no and I just, I, I thought that shit was porch. fucking dope. Bro. Oh, bro. When I got the footage back, I knew, I knew looking uh, through the viewfinder be... that it was, it was, it is exactly what I was envisioning because I had them send me pictures ahead of time. See, motherfuckers don't understand. Yeah. Like, I'm not, that was not a, just a gorilla pull up video. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he like, sent you was, pictures of your I had send me a front porch. Of it. I asked him where it was facing. So Amen. I knew what time to shoot and I knew wow. it faced. It was to have the sun facing it most to of them. the day. So yeah, if, I was like, if, if we would have caught the light better, like we no, could have, there's n- no way because it faces, it actually faces north or south or something, and, uh, but more angled to where unless they wanted to get up and film at 8 a.m. Uh-huh. or 7 a.m. actually, yeah, like yeah. me setting up lights and filming, but I need to be filming by 7 a.m. for Amen. it to look right, for it to be behind them. Yeah. But it, it couldn't. So I said, you guys are going to have to pay a little bit more for lights so we can do it at night, but it'll look 10 it'll times It'll be better. dope. And, and that shit came out crispy. I can't wait till they oh see the full God, video. Oh, my God, I can't wait till they show it either. Has, have they seen the finished product? Oh, yeah. They yeah, have? Yeah, they came back with, like, more than kudos Amen. for what they did. And I, you know, when I look at it, you know, I'm like, man. I already charge. know I already know what it is, <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We could go ahead and get this man a round of applause because he be getting that shit. Thank you, man. So I appreciate it. So I can't that. wait to see that shit for real, man. Oh um Man, what else we got, man? Joey Sparks, man. Tell them about yourself. Where where can they find you at? Uh, right now, I'm in between websites. If anybody is looking to um, a beginner website <laughs> creator who wants to run my website, I hate running the website portion. Oh, yeah. It's a bitch. I, I, I got to make a website took, right now. I took pride in doing my, my first website, and I ran it for myself, and I used Adobe um, creative cloud to do it and i took so much pride but now i'm so busy i don't have time to do it i just want to yeah. be able to go in and change the videos out from time to time that's all the fuck i want to do right yeah, yeah yeah and so if anyone out there wants to do my website let's do it it's but so right fu- now it's so funny you can you can find me on instagram that's at joey sparks the number seven joey sparks seven joe e that's sparks. two e's no y no slow y. that down that's two e's no no, why? Why? Um, and and yeah, seven. That's that's where I think you should try and find me. All right, all right. That's that's dope, man. I, I appreciate you sliding through, man. Can hey, I can I can I Walmart. get get anything else out of you, man? What's what do we expect from Sparks coming in the future? Um, I think more teamwork with Danny Keith Films. Oh, psh, 
Shit, you already know what that is. I mean, but it's a given for us. I want it to be given for them. Hey, man. Hey, you already know what it is, man. Um, And then um, uh, more videos, more uh, wedding highlights. Yo, you trying to hop in the wedding scene? I'm going to make this public because I... Cause I did, I did a couple wanna, weddings, wanna and uh, shoot, you I, wanna I wanna, I'm about to advertise like weddings again. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah I'll tag team that bitch. I, I'll, I'll go ring up some weddings. What real we need quick. to do is start doing our YouTube. Uh, that's what, that's uh, what this is tutor- good for. Tutorials from. Oh, what's up? From our wedding. Let's. What's up? What's up? We could do the YouTube tutorials, bro. Cause at at some point, at some point when you uh, um, actually do like the YouTube tutorials. You can actually like create custom packaging or custom, let's say like Branding. a course, right. and then oh. sell it. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's something I don't want to do. That's something I want to do too. So, yo, so so what I want to do is like you know even like for from me to you, it would be interesting to to looking at let's say, um, and I'm gonna hit them with it because this is what they all do is like the the top five editing tips or top five editing oh, need yeah, to yeah. know topics right. for beginning filmmakers uh, and like you want to ask me well i, I oh, think that those think are the type of films topics, that we yeah. can create to build that following to then hit them with something more personal when I, and customized yeah. when i look at the numbers that's how they get started those are the biggest ones right the ones when you rank three yeah. easy tips yeah 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 and we could the just best kill ways them. To in do. our perspective because mm-hmm. they're real yeah, yeah like yeah. we have real yeah, life experience real. not that we're gonna give we you tips know. yeah we're talking about like shit the that's color proven. that that shit that you have yeah that would be a checker. fucking tip for y'all right now you know what i'm yeah. saying is is getting you a palette to make sure you can white balance just right off rip yeah, that would be a tip for you at the beginning of films when they say a q marker and they clap it yeah that's partially what that's from too that's like because that's, how that that's a part too. of the process they show the shit in front of that it sinks the sound sinks the sound and, and then, then you can and color check <laughs> right from there right and from it there. gives you a, a marking place in yeah. film like i don't use that shit because i just edit everything myself but <laughs> all right man let's let's i'll give you man one last little outro and this is more for personal um being a filmmaker myself man like what is your goal or what is your dream like well, what do you like? Maybe you're not not there yet, but what is the end goal or a piece of it look like? Um, being able to be uh, self efficient in this craft that I fell in love with, Amen. and to be able to put food on the table for my family mm. from something that I just studied yep. that I love to do, yep. and I take the headaches with it to re- reap the benefits. Uh, to me. I've already won because mm. I'm doing that now. Church. Now I just want to keep doing it bigger every time. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> that's incredible, it, that's man. It. All right, y'all. We, right. we on the motherfucking Danny Keith podcast. Yeah, the official Danny Keith podcast. This is my first guest, Joe burr, E. Burr, 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 burr. Sparks, y'all. If y'all know me, man, y'all better follow Joey Sparks because that shit is real, man. Thank you so much. This is Danny Keith Podcast. We live and direct. I'm going to interview people that inspire me or that I want to make sure that I can learn something from so I feel like the people will learn something too. Peace and love, and y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace.